In this video, I want to show you how you can use laser scanning data uh, within the ship constructor environment, mainly using um, Autodesk Recap. So in this application here, is, uh, this is actually Autodesk Recap. Um, it comes with most of uh, the Autodesk suites. Uh, if you're just opening point cloud data that you receive from your third party outsourcing organization or uh, you have your own laser scanning, uh, you can use Recap. Uh, there is a Recap Pro. If you get multiple scans and have to combine them and register them together, uh, you will have to use uh, Recap uh, Pro. But in this case, I'm only, well, I'm actually using Recap Pro, but only using the functionalities of uh, basic Recap. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some of the uh, functionality that you have here and then importing it into Ship Constructor. Uh, so the first thing to do is, you know, get um, your your, uh, your point cloud here in a, a representation that you want to see. Uh, so, for example, if you want to see an elevation um, by color coding it, um, or intensities, normals, and or even just your scan locations, uh, I usually just go with um, the color of the scans because it gives me a, a little bit better representation of what actually. Um, I'm looking at. Uh, the second thing that I usually do is I set the bounding box. Um, the reason being is that a lot of times when the bounding or when the laser scan data comes, the bounding box is um, quite large. And the thing I also like about uh, using the bounding box, if you have this uh, highlight edges, is that when you modify the bounding box, it kind of gives you an idea of the structure as you kind of move. Uh, the bounding box. So it just kind of gives you a, a decent idea of the data you're kind of looking at. Because definitely one issue with um, laser scanning, or not so much issue, challenge, is uh, the amount of noise. It becomes quite noisy. So having a good idea of what you're looking at is um, really important. Kind of see the, those pipes coming through and so forth. So the key thing is uh, try to get your bounding box to the area that you're kind of looking at. So if I knew I was working on a particular uh, portion of, of the, the ship here, I would just even um, minimize my bounding box to just that section. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can use other uh, tools of recap to structure your uh, data. So if we just uh, cancel this. So uh, the navigation, because you always need to navigate uh, your models. Uh, I'm using here 100% my mouse. Uh, there's no command. Um, uh, field for entering commands is on AutoCAD. Uh, if you go through this navigation, it gives you a pretty nice um, way of how uh, you can navigate your project just using their mouse. So if you ever forget, it is a little different from uh, some of the other Autodesk products, uh, mainly the Orbit, which uh, throws me off when I come back and forth. But this project here has about um, 329 million points. So uh, three quarters of a or a third of a billion po points. And you can kind of see that it's actually quite fast when I uh, navigate through it. But even being um, that fast uh, with Recap, you still need to have some structure to your laser scanning just again to bring um, um, the data that you're dealing with just you know reducing the noise and making it a little bit easier to manage. So this is where regions come in. Um, so I've already created some regions. And in essence, what a region is, is a bunch of points that are associated to a particular region. And then within these regions, what you can also do is that you can actually have a hierarchy. So um, you can kind of, what I usually do is I build uh, a, a bigger region and I keep on going smaller and smaller uh, to the portion that I'm actually looking at. So I'm going to uh, hide a lot of these uh, other um, regions that I kind of looked at and just kind of look at one particular area, uh, which is over here. So this is, uh, um, let's actually remove one more here. So I kind of um, use just window selections where here you can select um, your point clouds by using your windows and um, selecting a, a portion of the model. And then when it selects it, you can uh, then just create new regions or add it to existing regions. 
and then that's how you kind of uh, just build your regions but in this case I already uh, built it so I'm just going to do some extra modification here just to show you some of the capabilities of recap so if we kind of uh, zoom in here a little bit more and say this is the area that I have to do some um, work in, in ship constructor because I, I'm redoing some of these, these piping uh, systems or some of this equipment is changing for example but I still find this quite noisy so some tools that I use um, to kind of you know reduce noise is uh, a way to select a plane so if you go and uh, use the selecting of the plane uh, for this case I usually uh, go a little bit more um, and then select my plane select my three points it doesn't matter which three points you select it'll select it as long as they're in the same plane and you can kind of see that it actually selected um, that wall so if I go and I then again create a new region I'll say uh, wall one it'll now put all those parts into a plane called or a region called wall one but what you can see here is that when I'm looking on this side and if I actually hide it it actually cleans it up a little bit it uh, kind of reduces again the noise of dealing with point clouds which becomes um, probably the main issue dealing with point clouds is trying to get it very very clean so you can just uh, do it again for example if you have this uh, walkway and um, just select it again three points and there it goes you create another region and I'll say walkway and there it created my walkway and technically this is a uh, part of my uh, other boundary that I was kind of working on so I would want to select it in here because uh, it's part of the original boundary that I was looking at and we can get away from that so you can kind of see it starts cleaning this up uh, a lot more and I can do the same thing with the ceiling if I'm not dealing with uh, any of the geometry uh, on the ceiling so I'm gonna save this project um, and it's just saving it in a native um, recap format which is an uh, RP, RCP file and then I will use this file to be to import into ship constructor and start uh, routing my piping and doing some um, uh, checks and so, uh, so forth so I switch here to ship constructor um, so right now I'm just in a, a pipe drawing I just named it uh, point cloud uh, just so that um, uh, we know what we're dealing with here but it's just a normal pipe drawing so to insert the, the point cloud that we actually did in the previous step I uh, just go to insert and go to attach and select uh, the recap file that we just saved so here it'll show me us all the properties of um, the point cloud it'll tell me all the units the length and intensity and it also gives me uh, how many points I have which is uh, 329 million points so I'm just going to insert that into um, uh, the ship constructor model so as you can see here it uh, has um, the portion that we last saved it as um, as well as it has all uh, of the regions that we were, we were creating so it, that management that we were doing before of managing the regions comes out in AutoCAD which uh, becomes very very helpful so if we even want to uh, look at some more data uh, we can see that the data is still there so navigate it and, and rotate around it we're in relatively decent uh, form again we're talking about 300 and 29 million points so back to our uh, use case here is uh, say we're doing some uh, modifications um, to this section here 
So we have uh, the point clouds and say we want to now uh, route some pipe and to route some pipe you need some uh, reference points and geometry. Uh, so there are some um, grip points or, or uh, snap points that uh, AutoCAD has and therefore Ship Constructor on dealing with point clouds. So from perpendicular to center of face and so forth. And these are really very handy when you start uh, routing pipe um, and using reference or even doing structure. Uh, when you're trying to do uh, planes and uh, determine um, uh, decks and walls and so forth to rebuild it. So if we kind of go to uh, piping now and uh, go to bent pipe, for example, it gives us our information of which stock we want to create. And uh, now it's just asking me for points. So this uh, blue ball is actually a uh, um, clicking reference point on my point cloud. And we can go and just uh, use this geometry. I'm going to just build it a little further down here just for sake and so forth. So you can kind of see that it's uh, building uh, your geometry right into uh, your model. And you can continue doing this uh, you know, with more components and so forth. And I'm not the greatest modeler, but I think you guys get the points that uh, the geometry and the point clouds are all in the same project. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can uh, use uh, point clouds in the ship constructor environment using recap and just uh, the functionality that's within ship constructor.